All right, so Samsung's next big unpacked event might still be a few months away, but the leaks? Oh, they're already in full swing. And this time, we've got some really interesting details about the Galaxy S26 series that might not sound flashy at first. But trust me, what's changing under the hood could make a massive difference. So let's talk about this. Because if you thought the Galaxy S25 Ultra was fast, the S26 Ultra might just take things to another level. According to Ice Universe, one of the most reliable leakers out there, the upcoming Galaxy S26 lineup, that's the S26, S26 Plus, and S26 Ultra, will be running RAM with speeds up to 10.7 gigabits per second. To put that in perspective, the S25 Ultra topped out at around 8.5 gigabits per second. Now that may sound like just a small bump on paper, but the impact is actually pretty huge, especially for camera performance. See, Samsung isn't increasing the RAM size this time. It's still starting at 12 gigabytes, but the focus is on speed and efficiency. And that means faster photo processing, smoother lens switching, and way less lag when you're shooting at night or capturing 8K video. Think about this. With the faster memory speeds, your phone can move massive amounts of image data in a fraction of the time. So when you hit that shutter button during a night shot, instead of waiting a second or two for it to process, it's nearly instant. You'll also get better dynamic range, less motion blur, and even more accurate previews when you're shooting raw. And that's not all. 8K and 4K 120 frames per second recording are expected to get a major stability boost because the new RAM tech can feed data to the image processor much faster. Even things like Astro Mode, where the phone takes multiple long exposures and merges them, will complete noticeably quicker ICE Universe. Also mentioned that overall efficiency is up by 15%. That means fewer slowdowns, less throttling during long recording sessions, and maybe even slightly better battery life, since the phone won't be pushing itself as hard to process all that data. Now, here's the thing. Samsung's not expected to add many new sensors this year. The S26 Ultra might only get one new camera sensor, but paired with this faster RAM and Samsung's updated image processing algorithms, the results could be seriously impressive. We're talking cleaner low-light shots, quicker focusing, and a smoother experience all around. And that's kind of what makes this exciting. Instead of just slapping in a bigger number of megapixels or a new lens, Samsung's refining the entire photography pipeline. It's the kind of upgrade that's harder to market, but one you'll definitely notice in day-to-day -day use. On the design side, though, the vanilla Galaxy S26 has seen some tweaks, too. Apparently, Samsung quietly adjusted its dimensions at the last minute. It's now slightly taller, wider, and a little thicker. Hopefully, that means a slightly larger battery, though, let's be honest, Samsung doesn't exactly have a track record of going all out there. It'll also feature a flat display, an oval-shaped camera island for the triple lens setup, and depending on where you live, either the Exynos 2600 or the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 Elite. So yeah, the usual regional split is sticking around. At the end of the day, the Galaxy S26 series feels like Samsung's quietly setting the stage for something big. They're focusing on the small, under-the-surface upgrades that could end up making the biggest difference when you actually use the phone. So now I want to hear from you. Do you think these behind-the-scenes upgrades actually matter? Or do you prefer flashy design changes and new camera sensors every year? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I've got a feeling Samsung's just warming up. And if this leak is any indication, next year's flagship might be one of the smoothest Galaxy phones ever made. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.